everyone. Welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Dan, we're back again talking about membership plugins. Once more. Once more. Uh, so if you haven't missed the, uh, if you missed the previous podcast, we started talking about membership plugins, creating membership communities, support forums, purchasing services and products through Con- WordPress. Content dripping, all sorts of fun stuff. All sorts of fun stuff <laughs> for content marketing yep. and, and, and service companies. Mm-hmm. This is the show, I shouldn't uh, forget this, yeah. this is the show where we compare WordPress plugins, mm-hmm. themes, and other awesome WordPress yeah. stuff. So if you want more of this, do subscribe, hit Absolutely. our site, silicomstudio.com slash subscribe. So, back in action, part two part of, de. Uh, of our <laughs> of our membership series. Uh, Magic members, WP member. You got it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. So, we're going to start by talking about Magic members, okay? So, Magic members comes in a, a few different flavors. Uh, we have your single user, your three user, and your developer uh, license user. Um, and uh, what, it, what it offers for you is all of the stuff that we talked about last week when we talked about premise, when we talked about wish list, um, member... You know, content dripping, so being able to put your content out, and we're gonna, I'm going to talk about that in a second, being able to put it out sort of you know, as you go on a month-by-month basis to keep your membership, uh, keep your subscription rate, keep people coming back for more, as well as, of course, privatizing certain content so that you can, uh, you can hold off certain pages, posts, video content, whatever it may be, so people who aren't logged in, people who aren't paying. People who aren't certain levels, silver, gold, whatever it may be, Mm -hmm. whatever your liking is, can't access your content as well. Uh, Pay per post, which is which is really really awesome. Yep. Uh, Auto responders, uh, tons of payment settings. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I really like this plugin. Yeah. (laughs) This plugin is pretty sweet. Um, It was a it was a pleasant surprise. I mean, we in the last episode we looked at premise and yeah. Wish list wish member, member. Yeah. Uh, which wish list was always uh, my favorite. Right. A lot of a lot of robust features. This plugin, Magic Members, really I think is starting to edge above that with options mm-hmm. and and just the clarity of using it. Yeah. Um, we always talk about ecosystems and what you're diving <laughs> into. With uh, in the last episode, we talked about what's really more important with this stuff. Of course, the ecosystem is important. Right. Your support, your additional plugins mm-hmm. and add-ons and things yeah. like that. But what's the workflow like right. when you're using this? Because right. this is this is the stuff that gets confusing: creating membership levels, mm-hmm. drip marketing, who yep. gets what, when yep. do they get, when do they expire, what promotions am I running? So you want to have that in an interface yes. that you can easily understand, and, yeah. and I think this plugin does it yeah, great. Ma- Magic Member is um, we were talking a little bit before the show. Um, it's a box within a box, as I like to call it. So it's sort of a, a interface within the WordPress interface. So rather than taking the full advantage of what WordPress offers, it sort of offers its own interface within an interface. So you get a very and you'll see this a lot of videos, I'm sure, as we're talking here about sort of what these tabs look like. Um, one call out I really really wanted to stress: we talked about content dripping and how important it was. And then last last episode, sadly, with both plugins we we discovered, wishlist and premise, we weren't really able to pinpoint a great a great application for content dripping or a great way to do it. This is the exact opposite. This is flawless. So what you're going to do here is when you create a new post, uh, there's actually going to be a um, a post delay or a content dripping thing on the side of your post, and all you have to do is click on it, and it literally gives you the option to pick how many days you want the person to wait, even depending on what membership level they have. To access that content, which yeah, is really cool. Right on the right hand side, in every page or post, you could check off which membership level mm-hmm. you want to see this post. Yep. Then you can drill down yeah. and say mm-hmm. <clears throat> each membership level can see this in 10 days, 30 days, uh, and then and when it expires. And then if this is a paper post, how much is it to, to, to see this post? You mm-hmm. know, five bucks to get the yeah, answer to the, 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 uh, the answer to life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> sure, uh, uh, 42. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so it's just a really cool. They have a lot of foresight, it seems like, um, or they've at least. I mean, I don't know, you know, what the history of this of this plugin was. I don't know where it started. Maybe they just got a lot of feedback. If they did, great job with the feedback because mm-hmm. it seems like they have cut. I mean, covered every corner that you could possibly imagine with regards mm-hmm. to how to operate this plugin. And that is going to transfer right over to the. Exact opposite, yeah. uh, which is WP member, and uh, this we're, we're on our fifteenth or sixteenth episode, yeah, something like uh, that. Yeah. And I haven't really uh, been uh, as frustrated with the plugin as I have been with WP yeah. member. I would l- going to reach out to the authors of the plugin. There's might be something I'm totally missing with this. Yeah. We installed it. We've installed thousands of plugins yeah. in our <laughs> lifetime, and I just can't for the life of me figure out 
the thought process uh, of when they put this together and, and how they, you know, and how they just the workflow again, back to that workflow. Yeah. I couldn't even figure out how to make a user level. Yeah. Or it was, role. It was rough. Uh, it was rough. You know, the sim- you know, simplicity, simplicity is there to a yeah. fault. There's like yeah. three tabs in that. I yeah. don't even know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, Payment gateways, yep, okay, check. Mm-hmm. Uh, your typical registration page, check, understood. Yep. It covers the bases. It just doesn't excel to do anything beyond cover the most basic of, right. and of our, function. Right, and in our fresh dev episode, we talked about how easy it is to yeah. actually protect content. Mm-hmm. You could actually check that out instead of spending the 40 bucks yeah. <laughs> with this, and you could check out our episode where we showed you how to actually just program yeah, that I, I thought about that when you when you brought it up the stuff that scott was talking about um from the back end of wordpress with just you know watching that implementing that tutorial video and the tutorial you know template we have you could do just about everything that they're accomplishing with with the 40 dollar wp member and i really want to quickly want to say this is wp hyphen member there is a wp members plugin that we may talk about in a future episode mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's not the same thing so this right. is wp dash member that yeah we're we'll, about. we'll link it to the show notes yeah, of course um we'll. And, you know, and, you know, from the for the hardcore WordPress people out there that are listening, I saw some weird things like the checkout process was mm-hmm. powered by a cPanel plugin, yeah. and and that's not even like they don't even have a real word true WordPress checkout. Sure. I should have known right there when I spent the forty <laughs> bucks to review it that I was in for we were in for some trouble <laughs> and for a surprise. Um, and then you get hit with the other things like they have a developer version two hundred bucks annually annually. Uh, then they have a um, they have another support option which mm-hmm. was like twenty bucks monthly that you could. Turn on and turn off. Yeah, it was called standard support. So I'm wondering what is standard support and why is total support? Right. You know the what what is the line look like here with total support for $199 a year? Right. Right. And and that's one of the things in the, in the WordPress plugins that we've reviewed in the past, the premium yeah. versus the yeah. free. It's always been understood. Understood that the the premium version is always going to get you great support with the price that you're paying for the premium plugin, 79 bucks, yeah. 99 bucks, yeah. whatever it is. Um, but to pay forty dollars for the site uh, for the plugin, they have a support. Yeah. I must say that they have a dashboard that's pretty nice. Yeah, it, it lists everything you've purchased. It's got a bunch of contact information in there, knowledge base. So potentially the support people will be responsive. And, and that's what boggled my mind. Right. They had all these great support options on their website. They had like this. It seemed like they had this very very you know well running uh, ticket system for if there's an issue. But then they have all these other support options that cost money. So I'm really Wondering what the yeah. what that hundred ninety nine dollars a year really gives you. It seemed right. like they had it pretty well covered on their website. Right. Really quickly, thing I don't think we I don't know if we mentioned. I think you might have briefly mentioned it with uh, Magic members. Another shout out here. Uh, video walkthroughs. Right. Um, of how to get your how to get your site up and running or how to get this uh, plugin up and running. Extensive about every little kind of aspect. Yeah, of I really, kind of I really see how like it runs, that. which is really great. Yeah, I really really like that. And they both they both had support training video uh, uh, training like posts though and facts and whatnot. Right, so, uh, so let's stop beating WP hyphen member into the ground. Uh, you can check it out. You you can check out their site. We're going to link it up in the show notes. Again, very limited. I yeah. just I'm not happy at all. Sure, uh, using it. I'm going to reach out to them. Do my due diligence. Yeah. Hopefully that we can speak to one of the authors that wrote it. Maybe I'm totally missing something. Yeah. Maybe there's a conflict that I with our WordPress plugin. Mm-hmm. That's the other thing, and I, I do want to get off of this, but that's mm-hmm. the other thing. The download was a beta. Yeah, and you know, we always say you never run beta for your right. mission critical or, right. or especially some kind of e-commerce yeah. system where you're, you're making a living with. Yeah. Um, you know, nine times out of ten, us hardcore WordPress guys will run beta because we're like, ah, it's going to be fine. We'll figure out when something yeah. doesn't work. But this yeah. clearly just is not working, mm-hmm. uh, whether it's the beta thing or there's just, just the lack of, of quality plugin. Don't know. No idea. Going to figure that out, no though. No idea. Going to figure that out, though. So Magic members so far yeah. leading the pack. Yeah, uh, I, I, feel, I feel kind of bad putting these two plugins against each other because I honestly believe that Magic Members stands up even for what I for my use here above even the plugins we talked about last time, wishlist and premise, as far as the amount the the amount of options you have and how well it runs and how how visual and easy to use the plugin was. Yeah. So so far, Magic Members leading the pack over Absolutely. premise and um, wishlist member. Yeah. Um, again, I, I've we've had experience with premise and wishlist members. Wishlist yeah. member support has been great. Tons of options. Mm-hmm. Still a great plugin, mm-hmm. especially if you're already using it, um, or if you're comparing the two. But Magic Members very clean. Yeah. I like their approach. I like the thought process. Love the content dripping. Super easy paper yeah. post. And again, premise. Go check out our other episode. I think we can actually link. 
now in callouts in YouTube. We can. Ooh, boy. Woo! So now we can actually direct your traffic. Uh, so premise being uh, membership, but also a landing page marketing uh, kind yeah. of uh, plugin. So a little bit different. Not as robust, but so far, Magic Members in the lead. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to bring more plugins in for the membership scene to you in the next episode. If you have one that you want us to review, let us know. Right down, right down below. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit our site, slocumstudio.com slash blog and slash subscribe. Check us out. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot.